Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Tuesday, August the 9th, another day of 30 degree heat. We may have some showers Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then we're back up into the upper 20s. So uh, this warm weather will stay. Uh, dog days, if you will, on the go. A reminder not to place batteries and propane tanks in your recycling. We had a recent fire in the city of Abbotsford with one of the recycling trucks. We've got the pictures up on FEN. Uh, no, take them to a recycler. Empty, if it's a propane tank, just open it up outside and let it air out. Uh, there are various ways so that the city and the city dump can take the propane tank. Just don't toss them because you're, it, it's a disaster waiting to happen. Uh, Chilliwack Fire responding to a laundry room fire. Uh, overloaded circuits, and we don't know if uh, the uh, the vent was cleaned out. But uh, especially for apartments, always check the lint vent, um, just for safety's sake, and because of the heat too, everything overheating as well. Fantasy Farms is back in the news. Uh, their garlic festival, once again, is not going to happen. The last time they had it was in 2019. We have a video interview with Gary Moran, the owner of Fantasy Farms. Uh, now, PD's uh, Country Christmas, that is still a go. The Reaper's, uh, Reaper's Haunted Attraction is still a go. The Pumpkin Patch is still a go. But that is because it's self-contained. The Garlic Festival brings in outside vendors, and they usually have a beer garden. Well, the ALR, the uh, Agricultural Land Reserve, which is under the ALC, which is the Agricultural Land Commission, have always had a dispute over what you can and cannot do when it comes to agritourism. Although, Fantasy Farms still does the things like the pumpkin patch, and they still do weddings on the farms as part of agritourism. But there's a sticking point here with the Garlic Festival. So, bottom line is, uh, they haven't had one since 2019. They won't have one this year. We have the interview with Gary up on Gary Moran, up on FEN, FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com. And uh, the second annual Broken Whisk uh, car show in uh, Agassiz is uh, coming up on August the 28th, and that'll be one of, the, one of the last of the car shows for the year. There's something we should know about, as always, FEN at Shaw.ca. If you're an advertiser and you have a small or medium-sized business and you're looking for something uh, to uh, present that is locally owned, not owned by a chain out of Vancouver or Toronto, talk to us. We're a bunch of uh, veteran broadcasters. We've been doing this as an independent for a number of years. We, we know what we're doing. All right, let's have a chat. Worst that could happen, we have a coffee. Have yourself a good day. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.